So, here we go then. The sun was barely up on this, the first working day of the year, and the Conservatives were out and about with their advertising van. Let's stay on the road to a stronger economy, read the slogan. Stay on the road, the van certainly did. And that R word, road, tumbled out of the Prime Minister's mouth once or twice on a visit to Halifax in West Yorkshire. When you are on the road to eliminating the deficit, don't turn back. When you're on the road to greater security for our country, don't turn back. I'm not saying we've solved all the country's problems in the last five years, but we've created those jobs, we've turned our economy around, we've cut our deficit in half, we've improved our skills and our schools. Meanwhile, Labour claimed in The Guardian that the Conservatives' plans for spending cuts were increasingly extreme and ideological and went far beyond the necessary task of deficit reduction. I think the Conservatives want to give the impression that they're on a particular road. Unfortunately, their road has uh, turned very sharply to the right. Uh, in the autumn statement, they left the centre ground of British politics and uh, have set out this plan to shrink public services to just 35% of national income. And that is uh, an ideological and dogmatic step from the Chancellor too far. So with four months and five days to go, expect plenty more days like this with poster launches and newspaper articles attempting to twist our arms. The Liberal Democrats and UKIP will have plenty to say too, as will others. And a lot of it will be on this central battleground of the economy. And all this on a day when Westminster is still pretty quiet. It's going to get rather busier. Chris Mason, BBC News.